All right, 10th grade, how are we doing again today? I'm um, here with Miss Booty, as we all know, another Penn Hills graduate. I have proof of this. She's not happy about this, but uh, <laughs> uh, I think this is seventh grade. Yeah, six or seven. Six or seventh grade, Miss Booty <laughs> right here. Um, I'm that old, yes. So that is proof that she is a, a living legend here at Penn Hills. So what year did you graduate from Penn Hills? I graduated in 2016. 2016, already, my goodness. Yep. It seems like yesterday, but it was already what, six, like seven six years, years ago. Yeah. Oh That's my crazy, gosh. right? Yeah. So when you were in high school, how did you come to the decision that you were, uh, one, wanted to go to college or anything else? Or did you just always know that was your next step after high school? Well, I always knew I wanted to be a teacher, so to do that here, you have to go to college. So um, I actually really wanted to go to Pitt, like ever since I was really little. Right. Like elementary school, I knew I wanted to go to Pitt. Um, and I applied and I was so mad my mom made me apply to Duquesne too. She's like, you can't just apply to Pitt. So I applied to Duquesne to have like a fallback option in case I wasn't accepted. Um, and then I was accepted to Pitt, but Duquesne at the very last minute in like April, right before I graduated, sent me a scholarship that I like couldn't pass up. Oh wow! Um, I mean, so duly noted. Take note of that. I mean, when when you're looking at a couple of years, that um, I know you didn't get to go to your number <laughs> one school, but money is a big deal whenever applying to college. For sure, and it was worth <clears> it too. Like I loved my time at Duquesne, and I'm in much less debt now. Like hundreds of thousands of less debt, so right. it was definitely worth so, it. And also, Miss Booty took care of her grades here, which then aided, what came along later was a uh, academic scholarship, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. um, and you went to Duquesne and you majored in? I was a double major, so I got a major in just math and then also in math education. Did so. you have to do it that way? At Duquesne, their program is like a dual major program um, for secondary education, so they want you to be like really good at your content. Okay. So like if you were history, you would do history and education. Right, and it's kind of neat that uh, Miss Booty boomeranged back to us. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're glad to have her. Um, were there any kind of trips in the road for I mean, like mistakes? Were there any successes? Something you would do over again um, as far as a, as going to college and being a college student? Uh, well, specifically, I'm not sure if this would apply to a lot of people, but I had to take a science in college. I think most majors have to take a science. And I picked biology because I thought it would be the easiest one, and it was not. So, like, I almost, like, failed biology <laughs> in college. Um, but I made it through, so. I did that. I was advised, and I tell my students sometimes, but I didn't want to take a foreign language. Mm -hmm. And they put me in a third-year engineering course without telling me when I needed to graduate. So yeah, I spent many days in that professor's uh, office going, teach me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look so. at, like rate my professors before you take a class. The right. professor's like more important than the class. Right, <laughs> so in it, teaching, is it everything that you thought it would be? Is it more, less, is, uh, are you happy with that decision? It's definitely more, I love it here. And right. I'm so glad I'm back at Penn Hills. Um, I was at other districts before, and I love it anywhere. Like I just really love kids in general, but right. it feels so nice to be it's home to here. Us. Right, it's yeah. home. Mm -hmm. My family's close to here. I know a lot of the students' older siblings. Right, how um, it works. Yeah. yeah, I've done this now for 24 years. Who would have thought? It's, it's crazy right. how fast it goes. Right, my old teachers are here. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a weird thing. Whenever you guys come back as adults, we're like I remember as that yep. person. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, that's about it. I, I appreciate your time, Miss Booty. Ah, thank us. you. We're so glad you're with us. I and, am too. Uh, hopefully my 10th graders will see you here and kind of if they're ever interested in teaching, you could always ask any of us, Miss Booty, how yeah, we did it. And anytime. Take that decision. Well, thank you again. All mm -hmm. right, 10th grade. Thanks. That's it. Great. Well, thank you.